So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. Uh, it's the end of November and, well, toward the end of November. And we're out, out in the woods. We're setting up a bit of a road, uh, Martin line. We got a road that's kind of going parallel to the trap line a little ways here. So we're gonna set up a half a dozen or a dozen Martin sets along the road. We do have the Cayute bait on the go. Uh, we're, uh, we're looking to set kite snares real soon. Um, probably in about a week or two, we're going to be setting kite snares, but we thought we'd get started with the Martin set. Uh, any of you guys that have followed my channel will recognize the set. It's a simple box. I like to have a big limb above the set where I can hang my trap from. So when the Martin gets caught, it'll, it'll hang right here. Uh, just away from the tree, the sap and the mice and weasels and whatnot can't get to it, the birds. Uh, seems to work well. Um, this isn't the best area to, to set a trap. There is lots of cover, but it's a lot of this little bush and stuff. But any Martin in this area, if he's here, I'm, sure, I'm confident we'll catch him. Um, we hang a ribbon up to mark our trap. And uh, like I said, this is just an update. Just letting you guys know, I will be filming all the all the snaring we're doing for for coyotes. So, um, you know, keep watching, and and uh, that's uh, that's to come. So, I also going to just tell you guys, uh, I've been in the fur shed quite a bit. Um, these coyotes, uh, one of them is from this season. I got a lot hanging here, some over there. These here I, I did yesterday. These coyotes are all from the previous season. Um, I didn't get to them in time, so I uh, I skinned them, uh, rolled them up, put them in, in Ziploc bags, and threw them in the freezer. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. I got I still got uh, five coyotes, three wolves, and a fox to do. Um, here's our muskrat catch. There's some over there. Uh, had a good muskrat season. Uh, we came out, we were, our goal was 100 muskrats. I think we came out with 98. We were a little short, but it was a, a awesome muskrat season. Had had lots of really good weather and, and was very enjoyable. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my oldest son if I can post some pictures, he's been he's been after the white tails pretty hard. Him and his buddy have been after the white tails pretty hard. They they put in their time, you know. They've been had their trail cams out all summer, uh, and he ended up shooting a pretty nice four by four buck. Uh, we uh, we uh, cut that deer up, or we he he shot it yesterday, um, and uh, he shot it from the front. Uh, the, the deer didn't give him a good shot, so he shot him from the front and the bullet uh, never came out, but we suspected it was in the in the guts. So we ended up just quartering the deer, took the neck meat, took the four quarters and the back straps off the deer. Um, so uh, if, uh, if, he, uh, if he ends up giving me permission, I'll post some pictures of, uh, of his buck. Um, pretty nice white tail. Um, that was his second deer. He shot his he shot his doe. He got his doe, and now the buck. So that's gonna give us uh, that's gonna give us lots of beef jer uh, deer jerky. We're gonna keep the back straps uh, for for uh, for some deep fried. I call it deep fried steak, but it's uh, just thinly sliced back straps. Put them in marinade and uh, deep fry them and. It is excellent. Um, so, so that's gonna definitely uh, help out. But I thought I'd tell you guys about his deer. Um, after they're done uh, hunting whitetails, they're gonna be hitting the trap line, as far as I can tell. I mean, they they have jobs ready. They're old enough. They have jobs. So uh, he's still playing his hawk. He's his last year. Last year of, of, of minor hockey for him. Um, so he's playing minor hockey, he's got a full time job, and uh, but I'm sure they're gonna be doing some trapping as well. Um, I don't know, 
how that's going to go. Um, I'm going to I'm going to give him a, a camera so he can he can film if he if he wants to. But you know, I, it's no guarantees. You know, they're young; they want to go experience the uh, the great outdoors. Uh, um, you know, trapping and snowmobiling and, and stuff like that. So I don't know if they'll have time or or even remember to to uh, uh, taking any footage but um, yeah so hopefully uh, if you see this part of this video um, I'll post some pictures uh, right now.